masterpiece of the middle 19th century, painted by the noted French artist Jean Millet, depicts French peasant women of the era salvaging grain left in the field after the harvesting crew has passed through. It is entitled, The Gleaners. This painting expresses so well the importance of gleaning every last grain of the harvest that it was chosen to symbolize the performance of a modern masterpiece of combine engineering, the Gleaner Combine, built by Alice Chalmers. Today, the great silver fleet of gleaners, the giants of the harvest, is made up of four basic models. The Model A, with 14-foot header, flagship of the silver fleet, recognized as the standard of the industry. The Big C, with capacity and performance second to none, designed and built to meet the demands of big acreage harvesting. The Model B Rice Special, specifically designed to take the rough treatment encountered in rice fields the world over, the toughest threshing known. And the A8, with automatic leveling, designed to bring famous gleaner flatland performance to the steep slopes encountered in hillside farming. All of these machines embody performance features, quality design, developed through 35 years of combine building experience. Let's visit the home of Gleaner, the Alice Chalmers Works at Independence, Missouri, headquarters of combine leadership, and see for ourselves the quality and features which add up to superior combine performance embodied in the Gleaner. To paraphrase an old show business slogan, through these doors pass the best combines in the world. Now let's have a factory representative point out to us the many features which you get in a gleaner. He swings up to the deck on a heavy-duty, non-skid steel ladder with double handrails for the utmost in safety. The adjustable seat, backrest, and armrest are padded with foam rubber to help shorten those long hours in the saddle. All controls are within easy reach, yet out of the way. To the right is the separator clutch lever. The choke and throttle are alongside the armrest. A hand length in front is the dual hydraulic control lever. The gear shift is at the operator's right to control the three-speed automotive type transmission, which in conjunction with the hydraulic control lever affords an infinite number of forward speeds. The unloading lever at the left controls unloading on the go or standing still in just about 90 seconds. The instrument panel with all gauges, ignition switch and starter is located in the line of vision for constant check on engine performance. From his seat, the operator has an unobstructed view of the cutter bar and the rear of the header on both sides. He can see what's going on front and rear. He can make sure he gets more of the crop. A tailings window lets him keep a constant visual check on the tailings return. With this feature, you know what your separator is doing. The hinged unloading auger folds alongside for storage or transport. It can be folded or put into operating position right from the platform. A standard convenience feature on all gleaner combines. Another reason for gleaner superiority is the quick detachable header. To detach the header, merely drive up to a simple wood cradle or transport trailer. Rest the header, disconnect the header drive and by use of a simple wedge pin tool, release both sides and back away. With the combine on a truck and the header on a trailer, there are no highway regulations to worry about in transporting to the field. 
To attach the header, reverse the procedure. Drive up to the header. Again using the wedge pin tool, attach both sides, connect the header drive and you're ready to go to work. In areas where highway regulations permit, the machine can be easily transported without removing the header. Low silhouette and narrow overall width, plus quick detachable header, permits safe, fast, easy transport, no matter what the requirement. If you are looking for comfort for yourself or your operators throughout those long hours in the harvest field, you will get it with a gleaner. Accessibility of all controls, easy riding seat, add up to efficient operation. And center line vision gives an unobstructed view of cutting bar and rear of the header. But operator convenience isn't the whole story. The quality construction which contributes to the long and trouble-free performance of the gleaner is also important. As for power, gleaner has plenty of it from its six-cylinder valve in head Alice Chalmers engine, equipped with visible bold dust catcher, hinged hood, and sturdy oval gas tank. The machine is enclosed in heavy galvanized sheet steel for complete protection and long life. The cast steel drive shivs are not only precision finished, but are precision balanced to within three tenths of one ounce on a special machine designed for this purpose. The shivs for all main drives for every gleaner built are given this balancing treatment to ensure smooth operation and long belt life. The main frame, backbone of Gleaner construction, is built of seven by one quarter inch pressed channel steel. Electro welded with the separator frame into one solid piece to hold all shafts, bearings, chains, and sprockets in perfect alignment for the life of the machine. Throughout all phases of manufacturing, Quality control tests and careful workmanship assure you of a quality product. This wind test over the separator screen is typical. Here a laboratory technician has set up a cleaning shoe and is checking the evenness of airflow over the shoe with delicate instruments which can detect the slightest variation. In manufacturing, the machining of the straw walker crankshaft is checked with a micrometer to hold tolerances to engine crankshaft specifications. Down front cylinders are assembled and run before final assembly. Throughout all phases of manufacturing, careful workmanship and quality control tests make sure that when you put your gleaner to work in the field, no matter what the crop or the conditions, it will go to work for you and keep working for you with the same quality performance year after year as the day you started it. The quality is there. Let's look inside a gleaner and see what happens when it goes to work. The sure feed system is where action starts. The retractable fingers of the auger and feeder beater combs and feeds the crop directly to the down front cylinder. Troublesome and inefficient rattles and conveyors are eliminated. The pivot point to the rear of the cylinder maintains a constant feed angle regardless of crop condition or header height. Directly under the cylinder, a safety concave door is spring-loaded to automatically eject rocks and foreign objects to keep damage to a minimum. Down front cylinder location permits a longer separating area without increasing the overall length of the machine. You get 13 feet of separating length in all models. Separation begins in the fresher housing where a wing type beater agitates and fluffs the straw. Air blast from the cylinder and beater keeps straw in suspension over the rattle. Grain drops through the straw to rattle. It is here that the majority of separation takes place. The rear beater 
and long rotary straw walkers complete the separation. Only in Gleaner do you get two fan cleaning. The upper fan pre-cleans the grain as it comes off the rattle on its way to the cleaning shoe. The lower fan directs a controlled volume of air to the adjustable chaffer and sieve of the end shaker type cleaning shoe. That's the inside story of Gleaner performance. From header to straw spreader, from cleaning shoe to grain bin. Engineered and designed to give you more and cleaner grain. Versatility of performance is a feature which goes hand in hand with Gleaner quality. In row crops such as soybeans, the big C can handle up to six standard rows with ease. The same goes for the large maize crops of the Southwest. The Model A can handle up to four rows of soybeans or maize. By changing from the standard grain header to the two-row corn attachment, the Model A becomes an efficient field shelling unit. For big capacity field shelling, a four-row corn head mounted on the big C makes it the master of any corn harvesting job. And switching from grain head to corn head is easy with a gleaner. With the availability of two and four-row corn heads for the model A and C, you extend the use value of your gleaner and gain the advantages of earlier harvest, reduction of field shelling losses, and easier handling. And remember, with Gleaner, you'll put a cleaner sample in the bin. A Gleaner sample is a cleaner sample. With a pickup attachment, Gleaner will quickly and efficiently handle any windrowed crop, such as this field of barley. As for down and tangled grain crops, a condition which can't be avoided in many cases, the Gleaner owner can be sure that his machine will surpass all others in these tough conditions. In all parts of the country, Gleaner performance and quality has gained acceptance as evidenced by the comments of satisfied owners. Out on the hills of the Pacific Northwest, Victor Carpenter of Prescott, Washington said, the main thing I like about my new model AH Gleaner Combine is that it makes my operation a complete family affair. With my two boys, 18 and 21, I can now handle my grain harvest without hiring outside help. The Gleaner is an easy to operate machine that really does the job on our slopes and hills. Custom operator Ralph Cruz of Oakley, Kansas found a lot to like as he said, I've been a custom harvester since 1947. In the custom business, I need a dependable combine that produces superior harvesting and that is easy and quick to load, one that will handle many crops under many conditions, one that gives my customers satisfaction but keeps maintenance costs to a minimum. I find that my Gleaner combines meet all of these requirements. From Jonesboro, Arkansas comes the comment of Mr. Dana Collins. My Model B Gleaner is truly an amazing machine. During the last two years, I have harvested 1,200 acres of rice, soybeans, oats, wheat, and lespedeza. In my opinion, it cannot be beat in picking up and threshing down rice. My repair bill has been only $75, and I have obtained a cleaner sample throughout. Mr. Claire R. Herbert of Macon, Illinois, had some worthwhile results when he put his gleaner in soybeans. He stated, I harvested 440 acres in 11 and a half days with my Model A gleaner combine. Yields measured from 27 to 38 bushels per acre. At day's end, you view harvested acreage with satisfaction and feel like doing the same tomorrow. Mr. Rudolph Respers of Pantago, North Carolina was asked how his machine performed with the corn head. He said, I bought my Gleaner Combine in the fall of 1960 and find it head and shoulders above anything I have used in my fields. I must say I'm glad I bought a Gleaner. 
Custom operator Earl Estill of Enid, Oklahoma said, Our gleaners are without a doubt the best combines there are. Ask anyone who has one, and those that don't want one, especially the real custom combiners. Mr. Estill knows what he's talking about. He has been cutting wheat on the custom combine trail for more than 15 years from Texas to the Canadian border. Estill's work starts early in June when he moves his fleet of gleaners out into the field. Working with him is his daughter Judy, who doubles as head cook and radio dispatcher. He is probably one of the first combining outfits to use radio communications to speed up the operation and serve his customers better. From dawn until dusk, the Estill fleet moves through the grain fields with typical gleaner efficiency. Here is the combined operation of a fleet of 28 gleaners harvesting 25,000 acres of grama grass in Colorado. The seed is light and fluffy, but yields range up to 50 pounds per acre. This fleet is cleaning and saving seed in true gleaner fashion. A truly magnificent sight. These are only a few of the stories of gleaners at work. Satisfied customers who have attested to gleaner superiority. So why not put yourself in the picture? See for yourself the greater versatility, smoother performance, higher quality, greater efficiency and ease of operation that you can get from Gleaner. And then you too can see why they all agree, it's Gleaner all the way. Thank you.